Here is a thinking and communication question on function notation. Given f of x equals to x square minus 10 and g of x equals to x square minus 4x plus 14, find all values of x so that f of x equals to g of x. Explain your answer. Now f of x is given to us as x square minus 10 and g of x is given to us as x square minus 4x plus 14. When we say f of x equals to g of x, it really means that these two expressions are same, correct? So we can write this as x square minus 10 equals to x square minus 4x plus 14. So solving this equation will get the values of x for which f of x is equal to g of x. So that is what we will do when we say find all values of x so that f of x equals to g of x. So let's solve it. Taking all these terms to the right side, we get 0 equals to x square. This x square is minus x square. Then we have minus 4x plus 14 minus 10 becomes plus 10. So x square minus x square is 0. We are left with minus 4x. 14 plus 10 is plus 24. Now we can take minus 4 common. So we are left with x minus 24 divided by 4 is 6. Now this is equal to 0. That is possible only if x is equal to 6. So that is the solution, right? So x equals to 6 is our solution. Now explain your answer. What do you really understand by this solution? So, uh, this solution really means that point of intersection between these two functions is at x equals to 6. So, what I'm trying to say is kind of like this. If you plot these graphs, so if you plot the graph for, let us say, f of x equals to x squared minus 10, that means it will be a parabola which kind of goes down 10 units and then goes up like this, correct? So, that could be your function x square minus 10, right, where this point is at minus 10. Well, this was very simple to draw, but the other function is x square minus 4x plus 14. Now, you can take some values of x, you know, the vertex, it also opens upwards, the vertex will be at minus b by 2a, which is minus of 4, which is 4 over 2, so it is at approximately 2, right? So what we really mean here, so that is a minimum value. If I plug in 2, what do I get? Let me write here first, g of 2 equals to 2 square minus 4 times 2 plus 14, which is 2 square is 4 minus 8 plus 14. So that is 28, that is approximately 10, okay. So that means that 2, the values around around 10. So this graph will be kind of, let me just draw a rough sketch like this, okay. And of course we can find this value also by placing x equals to 0, we'll get this point at 4, right? So this point we calculate was at 10 and this is 2. So that's kind of approximate sketch for the particular function, right? So those of you who are fig yeah, figuring out how I did this, well, the minimum or maximum occurs at x equals to minus b by 2a, right? Remember that part. It's kind of a good thing to know that for a quadratic equation in standard form, maximum or minimum or axis of symmetry is at minus b by 2a, right? So minus b means 4 divided by 2 times a, a is 1. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. That's how we got this point, right? Now when we say x equals to 6, that means the point of intersection is at x equals to 6. Do you see that part? So this is the x value at which both the functions have the same value, right? So this one is our g of x, right? And this one is f of x. So both these functions intersect at this point, which is at x equals to 6. That's what it means. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. Look into my videos and get all the concepts clear about this topic. Thank you and all the best.